Hello out there in Pugland and welcome back. Do you have a new puppy in your home and you want to introduce it to your older dog? But maybe they're playing just a little bit too rough and you're not sure about that? Well in today's video I'm going to show you some tips on how to get your older puppy to accept your new puppy and be gentle and loving. Alright, so let's roll the intro. Okay, so I have Gaga and I have this cute little baby boy and I'm going to demonstrate what I do to help these puppies learn to play nicely. Obviously we have a huge size difference. This puppy here is 12 weeks old and this puppy here is 8 months old. And Gaga is very excited. She wants to play with this puppy but she's too rough. And this puppy can get hurt and actually get some eye injuries and stuff so I have to teach Gaga to be a little more submissive. So I'm gonna let him go. You can see how they play. But sometimes we're knocking puppies down and we're being a little rough right there. And she's standing on him. Well, she's being a little more gentle because she's been, we've been conditioning her to play nicely. But yeah, she's being a little rough only because she is so much bigger than him, she dominates him. Come here. And of course when they get like that they don't always listen. So here's what I do. When you see this and it starts to worry, you know, see she's been she's been conditioned a lot. So she's learning. So what I do is when they're being rough, I will actually take the dog, the older dog, put him on their back. They don't always like this. And then I'll hold him down. And I'll let the puppy do what the puppy wants within reason because you don't want it to hurt see now she doesn't like this she's fighting me but she needs to be still letting the little puppy be on top because this says in the dog world I am dominant you are submissive now what I want you to see is Gaga doesn't like this she doesn't want to be on back she's an alpha bitch she doesn't like this at all but she needs this because I don't want any fighting in my pack later on see how she's looking away she's not happy about this you need to protect your adult dog's eyes too but you just let the puppy be there and give kisses ah, be still be still and to make sure that he's not gonna hurt her face and then when she relaxes completely, I'll let her up. Good girl. Good girl. What a good girl. You did a good puppy. Now be nice to the baby. Play nice. Good. So she has to learn to uh, be more respectful for the puppy and be gentle. The other thing is, you know, if you bring the adult dog into you, what if it's going to happen? Sometimes the adult dog says, this is my space. I don't want to share my grandma and my mama with you. And you might get some ah, like that, right? She is learning already, so she's been conditioned to be good and let the puppy play. So you need to also, you know, redirect, love on your big one, and also let the little one come up too. Because sometimes you're going to, you might get it like that, right? You don't want that. But it does happen until you learn to correct it. Now, if she was to go like that, I have to stop it. Nah, nah, right? And this is why you got this extra flesh. Nah, nah. Be a good puppy. Be gentle, right? My dogs know already when I say nah, that means stop. And, you know, sometimes with your more aggressive ones, because she's very alpha, you have to just do a little scruff shake um, so that that tells them that you are alpha. Your pugs aren't alpha. The adult human should be the alpha. And the puppies are supposed to know that when they leave my house. But right now, she, I can put them together. There's no problem. There's no arguing. But if you're having that problem, then you're going to correct. If it's your puppy, you just redirect your puppy, correct your puppy too. Your other thing is, when you have your dog on the back the first couple of times, you might get some really vocal uh, complaints, <laughs> right? Screaming, I'm fighting you, I'm fighting you. You're gonna, again, do the scruff shake. Nah, stop it, knock it off. And just hold her down and watch the back legs because you might be getting this kicking and you know frantically trying to get out of your way. Especially if you have a real strong alpha-willed puppy, you're, you know, that's gonna happen. 
but she's not she's not being tortured she's not dying here he's being very gentle he just wants to play and he wants to smell her and you know when she or dogs on the back after the little puppy is able to smell they say get girl get girl to your adult so that your adult knows that that's exactly the behavior that you wanted all right so i hope that helps you if you have any questions give me a holler but uh yeah it'll work out it takes time all right they will learn to be realizing these are not living squeak toys huh got to keep that right? okay well that concludes today's video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope you learned some valuable tips for helping your puppies your younger puppies and your older puppies uh, play together nicely if you have any questions for me go ahead and uh, send me a comment down below if you found value in this video please give us a thumbs up and let us know that you liked it and we look forward to seeing you next time bye bye <laughs>